Ryan Repair joined the New Zealand Breakers this past offseason as part of the NBL's Next Stars program, a program that recruits top young talent from around the world to play in the NBL and places them with the team. Repair wasn't the Breakers' best player, but he was a consistent contributor to the team throughout the season. He started 18 of 31 games and averaged about 18 minutes per game. He even started the team's first five playoff games before coming off the bench in the final three in a series against the eventual champion Sydney Kings. Rupert is young, he turns 19 just a few weeks before the draft, and he is still definitely developing as a player. But with the tools and potential that he has, a team will likely take Rupert sometime in the middle of the first round of the 2023 NBA Draft. The biggest strength for Rupert is defense. Rupert is a good defender first of all because his arms can be absolutely everywhere. He's 6'6", which is fairly average for an NBA wing, but possesses a 7'3 wingspan. It's honestly one of the first things you notice when you watch Rupert. You can't help but notice how insanely long his arms are. This, coupled with his mobility and hustle, makes him a huge headache for offensive players on the perimeter. Additionally, he already seems to have a really high IQ as a defender. At just 18, he showed the ability to run through several actions on the defensive end and deftly switch and rotate onto the player he was supposed to be defending. We see veteran NBA players that still struggle with this. Seeing a young kid like Rupert be able to do it at a high level is very eye-opening. Rupert might not have the crazy athleticism that some other guys in this draft do, but I still think he could be an incredible defender in the NBA. Another strength for Rupert is his hustle. This might seem like a weird thing to list as a strength but I really do think it means something when a player really plays hard at all times. Rupert plays with the pedal down every second he's on the floor. He absolutely loves to get out in transition and get the defense scrambling, and he never quits on a play on the defensive end even if he gets beat initially. Rupert playing this hard, with the amount of raw talent that he has, gives him a nice floor as a player. At worst, he's going to be a guy that puts pressure on the defense in transition and plays tough defense. Having that type of player is valuable for any NBA team. One weakness for Rupert is shooting. There are stats for Rupert going back to the 2019-2020 season when he was playing in France, and he has simply never been a strong shooter. This past season in the NBL, he shot 31% from 3 on 2.6 attempts per game. This is certainly not a strong percentage, but it actually ties his previous best across the four seasons we have stats for. His shot doesn't look too awful from a form standpoint. He looks a bit stiff while he shoots, but he has a high release that would be difficult to block. He just hasn't figured out his shooting touch at this point. I'm certainly not a shooting coach, but the hope is that in the NBA, he will be able to get the right shooting coach so he can at least be a competent shooter. Otherwise, he could struggle to stay in rotations. Another weakness for Rupert is half-court offense. In transition, Rupert is pretty dynamic. He can handle the ball well and is slippery to the basket. But out of half-court sets, he doesn't seem to have a lot in his bag of tricks right now. This could be a product of the Breakers just having more veteran options and not letting him take the lead as much as he could, but there is probably a reason for that. I think Rupert is just a pretty raw offensive player right now, but there are definitely reasons for optimism. Like I said, we see the handle and the moves in transition, so we know he's capable of doing it. He just has to put together how to consistently do it against a set defense. This first clip displays Rupert's abilities on the defensive end of the floor. The play begins with Rupert picking up his man full court. Once in the half court, the offense runs him through four different actions that he switches perfectly without batting an eye. He then stymies the initial drive to the basket, forcing the ball handler to pull it out and reset. The play ends with Rupert sliding down the lane with the offensive player, staying vertical, and allowing his teammate to block the shot. There are many NBA players that would have been absolutely lost on this play defensively, but at just 18, Rupert already looks like he'll be a fantastic addition to an NBA defense. This next clip shows how Rupert can struggle in half-court settings offensively. The play starts with Rupert spotting up in the corner. Rupert receives the pass with the defender closing out hard. Rupert tries to pump fake and go baseline, but he's unable to create enough space. He then spins back into a heavily contested fadeaway jumper and misses. In transition, Rupert can be a valuable offensive player, but in the half court, he's just not very skilled when it comes to scoring at this time. Ryan Rupert is an intriguing but offensively raw international prospect. 
Defensively, I think he is ready to contribute to an NBA team right away. But unless something really changes before draft day, he doesn't give defenses too much to worry about unless he's flying out in transition. The team that drafts Rupair will have to be patient in developing him offensively. He certainly has the potential to be something if he lands in a good situation to work on his offensive game. But he's a player I could see floundering if put in a tough situation to start his career. If he can be even an average offensive player with his ability on the defensive end of the floor, he'll be a valuable rotation piece for an NBA team. It just might take some time before we see him get to this level in his career. My NBA comp for Ryan Rupert is Mikhail Bridges. Bridges was more polished as a shooter coming out of college, which is understandable as he played three seasons at Villanova. But he still struggled in his rookie season with shooting the ball. But he was able to retain a rotation spot with Phoenix thanks to his awesome perimeter defense. Bridges has good mobility and incredible length at 6'6", just like Rupert. Rupert might take a bit longer to develop in the NBA than Bridges did, but it seems like a reasonable level for him to shoot for.